Alright, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna be showing you how to use Sapphire plugins. This is second video. I already made one, but now there's new things that you can do with it. There's a lot of new stuff that people have figured out. So it's gonna be a video showing you how to do that. Um, I already have my clip synced up with the song and some velocity on it. So yeah. So I already have that. Probably gonna turn this volume down. It's gonna be really loud. Um, so what you're gonna want to do first is you're gonna want to drag an adjustment clip right on the beat. So just search up adjustment, and then you go to effects right here, and you're gonna want to drag in an adjustment clip. I already have mine dragged in with all of the shake uh, effects done, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you. So you're gonna want to not trim anything yet and you're gonna want to then search up s underscore shake like this go into open effects it'll be right there you're gonna want to drag that onto your adjustment clip uh, again I've already done that so I'm gonna click on my adjustment clip and I'm gonna be showing you the settings for this shake slash impact uh, first frame you're gonna want to copy all of this so I'll just go slowly frame by frame so you can kind of figure it out so you can pause the video in between and figure it out but the shake would end up looking like this So, that's what the shake would look like. Then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut your clip on the kill. And you're gonna wanna, when your shake ends, you're gonna, so around here, you wanna cut your clip again. You're gonna wanna search up S underscore glow. There's a lot of different options. There's a lot of weird ones, but I'm gonna be using just standard S underscore glow. You're gonna wanna go to the start of the clip, go into effects. You're gonna want to change the color. You're gonna want to make it like a bright pinkish. I think that looks really nice. Another, uh, you can make it kind of orangish. I'm gonna probably do an orange on this, just because of the sky. Looks kind of cool. So you're gonna want to make the threshold up a bit. You're gonna want to make it around 550. Anywhere around there works. Keyframe it 2000, and then at the end, make it zero. So it'll just have a nice little glow. It should lag. It's fine if it does. What you're going to want to do if it does lag, go to the top left, hit playback. And then under timeline uh, proxy mode, you can turn this down. I have it on max. Then another thing that could work is render cache and put this on smart. That's like the best thing you can do. So that should help with the lag. And then we're going to do like a nice pixelate buildup. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to count out around 20 frames to 30 frames forward, whatever you think looks nice. Or I like to do when the character first pulls out their shotgun, or like makes the edit. So I'm going to start right here. You're going to want to cut your clip right here whenever you think it looks best, honestly. You're going to want to click on your clip, left click on it, and hold alt, drag another layer up. This duplicates the layer, so it's the same thing. Then you're going to want to go drag this to the side, go into this one, go into the color tab. You're going to want to make the saturation, I'm going to go into like this little pinwheel. You're going to want to make the saturation zero right there. You're going to want to make the highlights around negative 37. And then shadows, put the shadows all the way down to negative 100. You're going to want to make the tint up a little bit to like 12. And then the temp up quite a bit to around like 300 I'd say just adds like a little bit of saturation and not saturation brightness back to it and so that's gonna be your saturation or your your non saturated layer so this is the layer that you duplicated this has all the colors in it you're gonna want to go over to the left you're gonna want to search up underscore pixel pixel 
you can just search pixel like this or s underscore white pixelate that's what it'll be named but I'm gonna just search pixel it's easier you're gonna drag this onto your clip and you're gonna want to make it on the right end and you're gonna drag it all the way out to the side of your clip and so what this is gonna do is it's gonna make like a nice little video game looking style it's gonna bring that over and so you can mess around with this you can make it like the edge width less you can make it more pixely like that you can make the angle different and I personally like it when it goes like that you can make the pixels smaller I kinda like it when the pixels are a little bit bigger you can make the resolution width different you can make it like that I just like the standard so I'm gonna reset this you can make them look kinda kinda different so mess around with this whatever you want this changes like the layout these are random randomized so mess around with it and it should look something like that obviously it'll lag them but as that little blue bar loads it will keep uh, rendering so this is what it should look like in the end if this helped you drop a like subscribe do the things you know i'll see you in the next video Bye.